support cache, tons of stats, and infusion. Welcome back, guys, to another video. Um, today we have a not super interesting start on Pot of Gold, which is on 6-1, I'll leaving players split a pot of 120 gold, so not a big deal in terms of effect on the game, uh, as term, in terms of the portal. Uh, from this, I just kind of want to reroll all of these and see what we can maybe do here. Maybe it's a Senna game, huh? With Blinged Out? Yeah, I'm kind of down. Let's do that. I have this um, start here with... So we sell this, we play, um, and that's it. We could play punk to an extent to help us find our Senna, right? Like, I don't even hate that. That's actually a, a decent strategy, um, which I might just do. Uh, we have a hard steel Cassante. I'm going to sell him, I think. Mm, maybe not yet. Uh, but I'm I'm going to use punk rerolls on level 6 to have a cheaper reroll, right, on for the Senna, essentially. Or even a level 5. Uh, I mean, it's not, not that bad. There's an Echo. Okay, that's pretty de decent. Uh, keep this girl for now. And so for Senna... Okay, so we have Blinged Out. If you don't know, your true damage champions gain 80 health and 8% attack speed each time they are holding... For each item that they are holding, gain a Yasu and a Senna. Uh, by the way, I'm on my Smurf account in NA. It's a pretty much an unranked account. I haven't played this uh, since set 8. So uh, that's why the name and the ping and this this guy. Uh, the reason I'm playing on the Smurf is because I just wanted to have some fun. Like I didn't want to try hard today and you know in the Grandmaster you kind of have to. Uh, and, and figured it's it's a Saturday morning like I, I'm just I just want to chill a little bit so let's do this right. Um, we have decent items for Senna. Uh, generally you want Shojin, um, Nash's Tooth and Rabadons. The Chojin is her super fan item, so you get that for free, which we have another one of, but that's okay. We can also go double Chojin. That's not, not even terrible. Um, surprisingly enough, it's not even bad, right? Um, and then you just go six true damage. Uh, ideally, you get a spatula, which you can use. Uh, we can also just play Heart Steel here for a turn. It's not even bad. Or like, you know, one cash out, I guess. We make 10 still. I am I could slam the item. I probably should, in all honesty. To get actually some value out of Blinged Out. But I, I don't even mind losing now because of uh, Heart Steel. So, that's fine. Let's just do that for now. Yeah, so, on this Smurf, right, like, we can play... Not so super try hard. We can try some fun comps. Senna is actually one of the better comps right now for reroll. Like she can delete whole boards essentially with good positioning and good items. Um, but it's kind of hard to play it in in GM still because you need a very very good start for it. Maybe there's a Senna. I would just take that if there is. There isn't, but there's a rod. I'm, I'm down to taking the rod. Gives us the Rabadons. I don't usually slam my item until I find the headliner and then I do a reroll comp because, for one, you generally just want to econ up, so get as much money as you possibly can, right? So you, you can lose streak, essentially. And, and for two, um, once you have the headliner, you kind of want to slot it in, right? Because of the extra trait and the extra stats that they have. And um, you can't really do that if, um, if you have items on your other units, like in this case, the Senna. I will level here. I want to be strong. I, I want to lose if I can, but I, I want to be as strong as possible, so not to lose too much HP. Whether we lose streak or win streak here, I don't really mind. I mean, this is... You know, again, unranked essentially, so very fine. With that, hopefully we can get the spat, and then uh, we can play. Uh, we can drop the Yasuo essentially for another unit, maybe Caitlyn or something, right? You play the true damage line with Caitlyn; it's very good, and you cap it out with Lucian if you can. 
think we win this. Uh, I mean, he, he has an Archangel, so might not, actually. It's just gonna be a good loss. Yeah, 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 it's just gonna be a good loss. Stun, nice, maybe we can kill. She will ult soon, nice. One unit loss, perfect, right? Perfect. You can't ask for a better loss there. Uh, we can buy this guy, but we don't have to. I mean, two-star Yasuo is a two-star Yasuo, but it's not that big of a deal. Don't really care about it too much. And remember, like we don't have any items slammed at the moment, so we, we are not getting any bonus from Blinged Out. But we will, and we are also not playing our Bling bonus. Um, but we will once we sell Heart Steel. So we have two more turns. We'll cash out Heart Steel, and then we'll just sell them and try to roll for our actual comp, which we can, by the way, put together. So let's do that. Um, you play Super Fan, of course. Uh, you play Sana. Surprise, surprise. You can play Yasuo. And then you have a Kali, not this one, this one, but it doesn't really matter from our perspective. And that's that's the comp, pretty much. Uh, you can drop this, right? Uh, if you have the true damage Senna, which you should. So, But if you don't, you, you play this. It's a two unit loss, maybe three unit loss. Hopefully two. No, it's just, it's three. That's fine. Uh, and so that's why Yasuo is not that important. You can also play this in a variant where you have a lot of Yasuos to start with, and then you can just uh, play Yasuo reroll. What a shop. Um, okay, we buy these, of course. That's fine. We'll play this over the Cassante once we uh, once we cash out. So next turn, essentially, we cash out. We drop these two, play these two, and we're good to go. We have... 23 gold, which is not bad. It's also not amazing. But it's not bad by any means. And yeah, we want true damage Senna. Like, that's our ideal spot. Okay. Didn't need to sell those, but that's fine. Or Lilias, what the frick is this? <laughs> I'm not going Lilia 3. I mean, I could pick her up. I mean, it would be fun, I guess, to have Lilia 3 on the board. But I, I don't think it, it's going to happen. I, I just don't see that happening. Okay, so we cash out here. Very nice. Uh, get some gold, and then we can level up. Uh, maybe level up here. Maybe level up here only. And then roll for Senna, right? If you level up here, we, we're guaranteed to hit, and we just lose two more fights, which is fine. It's honestly fine. Yeah, this guy is actually pretty strong, huh? Bishop. Yeah, I mean, I don't have items, so it's expected. Let's just say that. It's expected. 11 damage, okay. So even if you lose two more, right, like we will be at, what, 50-something? That's fine. Oh, Jeweled Lotus is nice, but it's not that good with true damage, to be fair. Martyr is probably better. Twin Terror Senna, hmm. Don't think so. I'm just gonna take Martyr. Martyr is a, is a good augment. Okay. Sell these, play these. So we now have four true damage. Your main tank is, of course, Echo, so he would get all the tank items. Uh, I would still want to play Ionic Spark if possible. Um, but this is actually not even bad to have a Adaptive Ham on the guy. I think that's decent enough. Decent enough. Uh, I can level, actually, so let's do that and play this. Crawl once. All right, sure. Uh, you know, we, we are at 50, so it's fine to roll here. Uh, just give him this to get some strength on the board, I guess. This is fine. So, again, ideally we play a true damage emblem if we get a spatula. We are first pick, so there is a decent chance we get a, we get a spatula if, we're, if, it, if there is one on carousel. And there is no uh, young and wild and free, so because there is no silver augment. So it's fine, uh, we, we will likely get it, right? We can just slow roll now and then and then just send it here. Okay. All 
right, that's decent. I will say that that is decent. I'm just going to play this. Um, I'm down to slam Gargoyles on the Echo, because he's going to be my main tank anyway. Am I? Yeah, I am. It's fine. Let's do it this way. Then units wrap around the Echo here. Okay, we have one open slot right at the moment. So that goes in uh, for like... A, so that will be Nico, of course. It gives us Guardian and Superfan. And um, we can also just play Giant Slayer, but I kind of want... This guy's almost dead. Uh, and yeah, this is low rank again, so you know people aren't really playing optimally. We can also go Giant Slayer, that's fine. Shoujin Giant Slayer, Avalanche is pff, just going to delete everything pretty much in one shot. So that's good. We have three Senas, so we're three off essentially. There's a spat, but I'm not first pick anymore. Maybe we can still get it. I don't think so. Probably the guy is going to take it. Yeah. He did. I want to go for a bow here. Oh, I'm already picking. Yeah. I want to go for the bow here. This gives us either Giant Slayer or mm, the component for Nashers, which is the best in slot item. Oh, man. That's sad. This guy gets six punk out of that as well. But it is what it is, guys. I mean. Okay, okay, don't mind. <laughs> I'm gonna get Lilia 3. There you go, that's Lilia 3. And I'm not going Cannon 3. I'm not rolling further than this though, because no need to. So this boat always goes on her. We'll wait until Wolves. If I get a belt, then we're just gonna Nashers Tooth. If we don't get a belt, we'll just play Giant Slayer. And then on 4 1, we roll again, and then we hit Senna. <coughs> That's the plan here, pretty much. Look at this. What is that? I wouldn't usually advise uh, buying this because it's just like it's, it's not really worth it. It doesn't do much and it just takes away money, right? But it was free, pretty much, nine gold. Like we didn't have to do any extra rolls for her. And now we have 5 true damage, level 7, we will play uh, 6 true damage, of course. Uh, one more item on Echo, and that's our main sort of core, right? A strong tank, a strong carry. And then we play a Kali, which will give us a secondary carry, essentially, in the comp. And then you can also itemize Kiana if you get her, but it's, yeah. getting Kiana is usually at level 8 or level 9. We are far away from that yet. It's not going to happen until like one more stage into the game, right? It's at stage five, something. Uh, this guy is dead. Dead in the water. There you go. Yeah, and we have Martyr as well, like two very strong combat augments here for this comp, right? It's, it's, it's decent. And then, so Martyr does, uh, whenever one of your allies die, your team heals uh, for 9% of their max health, right? The more health your units have, the more they will heal. So having this three star is actually not that terrible because it's just more healing on her when Echo dies or some other unit dies. Oh, well, not Echo. Echo will die first anyway. But you get the point. Okay, I don't think we ever go for Cannon 3. That would be <laughs> insanity, right? Okay, there's uh, this guy who's playing punk, and then there's this guy who's playing punk. They are contesting each other. This guy has learning to spell and plays punk. Yeah, I mean, you know, the the joy of low elo, I guess. We have that now, which is good. Okay, so we slam this. Uh, I'm gonna wait one more turn. Should I? I mean, even if it's golden ticket, would I take it? Is the question here. Uh, I have a Sterox, I mean, I, I want, maybe maybe we get spat here. I mean, I think this always goes on Echo, I think, right? 
doesn't like this will build into whatever redemption war mugs sunfire even um because yeah if i get golden ticket i can go for a Kali three that's the only nice about that because i can roll for sana now and then just essentially um afk until level eight where i can roll for a Kali three if i ha if i get golden ticket all right and we get pot of gold on six one so yeah, that would be a very good. There would be a very good chance to hit Akali with golden ticket, Akali three. Let's see. It's triple golden, so not that. I mean, I could go little buddies, uh, which is pretty good because you know you have a lot of shitters on your board, uh, these four at least, and then your Akali gets a lot. From that, heroic grab back just gives us Senna immediately. I can take this. Oh man, <laughs> that's sad. Um, but I can just tempo from this spot, I guess, like this. And then we can go fast eight, fast nine, even. I don't hate it, right? Because now we have a very strong team. Okay, let's go here, I think. I could play KDA over true damage here for a turn, or like until I hit Akali. I'll move my units next turn. Okay, yeah. What is that? An AP Jinx with learning to spell. That's new. Um, I don't think that works out the way you think it would work out, buddy. I, I just don't think that's that's very good. Um, oh well, the joys of low elo, where you just like don't care, you can just play whatever you want. Um, all right, let's do this. Right, this is fine. I can level. It's free. Can I play something? Rapid fire. Yeah, I can play rapid fire. Uh, there we go. It's not too bad. Not too bad. And of course we drop KDA and Rapid Fire for 6 true damage when we get a chance. Um, if we don't get a spatula, then the sword goes on a Kali. Well, this guy's actually pretty strong, huh? Vex 2, Amumu 2. Not too bad, huh? It doesn't really have the items on the right units, it seems like. Level 6, rolling for Jinx 3 still. Big gains, idealism, Jeweled Lotus. Big gains is interesting, right? He will scale into late game quite well with that. Oh, there's a spat. I don't think I can get it, though. Probably this guy takes it again or something. Nope. Maybe we can get it. Nope, he takes it. Okay, go for an item on Echo. More mugs is fine. What do you need that for? Penta kill. Doesn't have... Yeah, he does. Okay, he gets 7 Penta, which is very nice for him. Unlucky for us, but it is what it is, right? Uh, that's good. 44 to level. 44 to level. I mean, we're not leveling yet. I can go 9 on 5-5 five, five if I keep the win streak, but I don't know if I can. Um, this guy doesn't have an edge of night, so I can just beat him here. Okay, that's fine. Nami 3. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. The fish you see. Miso soup. <laughs> Fitting name. If you've ever had miso soup, it tastes like fish. Um, all right. That's, yep. That just happened. <laughs> 15,000 damage, man. Ah, that's insane. 
can we can we top one in this game? I mean, I'm kind of down to just econ as much as I can, and I roll for a Kali three maybe. Still, that is if no one is going to play a Kali. But there was the Pentakill guy who probably does right, unless he dies before that, which we might. Oh, nice. Okay, so we can we can just play a six pen or six uh, this thing now true damage. It's absolutely all right here. Um, I think we sell these. Not leveling yet. I mean, I don't ever need these guys. Not not, I'm not going to three-star them. Let's be real. Okay. Yeah, so I think this guy just dies. Although Yasuo might just make it away into my back line here. But he's dead, so never mind. <laughs> yep. The wipe. The complete wipe. Santa 3 is a menace, guys. If you can hit it, it's really good. It is really, really good. Okay, I think... I think there's a decent chance that we win this game at the moment. We can go maybe Nico 3. I mean, Echo 3 would be the best, but this guy has three Echoes. So it's very unlikely. I mean, this guy might just die very soon. Does he have an Akali? Not yet. Will he? Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I level here because it's free. And yeah, I think we're just going to go 5-5 five, five and level again. And then roll for Akali Kiana. Drop the Yasuo. Maybe play KDA or something. Um, I don't think we get spatulas anymore, right? So it's just these items on the Kali, I think. Is it Hodge, double healing? Or Deathblade, QSS? And then we'll just go for a healing at some point. Um, I'm down to play this, right? It gives us KDA for now. Like this. Nico 3 is, is doable for sure. I think even Echo 3 is possible. Oh, he sold Echo, no? Or is, was this, was it this guy? I think it was, right? Oh my god, I just wiped his whole team. One tap. Nice. So we can go for Echo 3 as well, which is very good. But yeah, we just 5-5, five, five, level 9, I think. And we roll it. Don't care about these guys anymore, let's be real. Yeah. You play Jazz at the end, I think, as well. You like Lucian, which gives you Rapid Fire as well. And then just Bard or MF or something. You can slot those in, level 9. Because right. you have this open slot, this open slot already. Because you play Kiana, of course. You play maybe Bard and then Lucian on 9. I think that's our, that's our comp at the end of the day. The Fishusi did not work out very well. Sorry about that, dude. Sorry about that, dude. Okay, Echo, or maybe the Echo 3 angle. I only have one Akali, so it's unlikely that I'll hit Akali 3 at any point, especially because not a lot of four costs are out of the pool, right? Actually, practically none. So it's more so just going for Echo 3, Nico 3, and the cap with Lucian, Kiana. I think that's more likely, but I, I should be on the other side here. Ah, I needed to move, man. Because now this girl is gonna take up some of the aggro. That's fine, I guess. Oh, my echo is dying. Ult? Oh, he couldn't even ult. All right, I think I lose to this, huh? Maybe? Okay, never mind. I'm not losing. 
or no, 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 there's no way. Actually, that was very close, but it's okay. Um, this is positioning diff, that's all there is to it. I have to not greed a um, KDA for that and we'll be fine. Now here, this is good because it gives us three items essentially for the blinged out bonus. Hey, come on, come on now. But I could be just going for red buff. Probably it was red buff, man, on Akali, right? We level. And we roll. Sona, don't need that. I can play this for now. <laughs> Poppy three? Not happening, guys. Let's be real. Okay, I mean, that roll down was egregious, but it is what it is. Um, of course, we won't play this Poppy, but it's a Poppy 2 for now with TG, so decent enough. Oh, yeah. The AP Poppy. She's a wizard or a witch, I guess, is the more correct term. All right. That's, this is the only person that's like potentially scary. Oh God, I'm not, I can't buy that, unfortunately. Okay, I don't need KDA, um, so it doesn't do that much for me. Who am I fighting? This guy? Y yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just this, basically. And then that. Maybe this. I mean, he's clumping completely, so my Senna will have a wonderful time here. He hits set three, which is quite nice. But, I mean, I have true damage, so it doesn't really matter that much. I'll just strap through him very, very easily. Just like that. Yep. Yep. Okay, so sell, 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 right, for Kiana, Lucian, Bard. I guess that's fine, but I don't have that many traits open or like active four, five in Jazz. Is it even worth it to go Jazz? I don't know, man. I mean, probably, because the the damage is, the extra damage you get from Jazz, you know, some of that is converted, half of that is converted into true damage. Oh, the pot of gold, I forgot. All right. Well, that's just easy. Oh, there were two poppies. That's okay. Okay, but where are my units? I mean, it's just Hodge. All right. I, uh, that's, that did not work out the way I wanted it to work out. Uh, he, she needs not to be in the corner, by the way. I did not pay attention to positioning at all. All right, but my Akali is in the back line. So not losing this one. It's also, I think it's a ghost fight. Yeah, it is. And he's dying. Nice. Seven Edgelord. Interesting. True damage Akali. Now, if he had more gold, I could go for it, but I don't have more gold, unfortunately. I'm going to drop this now. There's a Nico. Okay, so what would this look like? How much as value? 9%, it's not that much, but I can give this now to a Kiana and this gives me some gold, so I'm kind of down. All right, this is decent. I mean, to be fair, I'm so strong, it doesn't really matter that much, but 
Yeah. 10k damage. So the reason this is good, right? Even if it's 9% and 6%. Oh, nice. Is again because the true damage is like all the damage we deal, 45% of that is converted to true damage. So you add an extra 10% damage onto your whole team, and then half of that is gonna be true damage, right? So that's kind of insane. And then we can just bling out this guy now. Okay, Lucian should not be in the front line like that. Let's uh, at least take care of some of the positioning here, right? Oh, it's a Riven 3, but has two and a half items only. I mean, yeah, you need QSS on, on that girl. But also, Seven Edge Lord is just not that good. And this guy's dead. I think the other guy might also be dead. Not yet. Okay, he's fighting Ghost. Okay, we roll down here, of course, try to hit Kiana 2 and Lucian 2. Can look for a Lucian item if there is one. There's a uh, thing. This thing. Ah, he, it's fine. I mean, he's not dealing that much damage in this comp. It's not his, he's not the main carry, right? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so I have to be here. That's fine. And yeah, so TG is super good because it's it, it counts as three items, right? So you get all the blinged out bones on your units for it. So there's no way I lose this, by the way. Like it's just not happening from this spot. Yeah, he surrendered. I mean, yeah, Senna three is very fun, guys. Uh, but uh, this is low rank, so keep that in mind. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave a like and a comment for the algorithm, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.